Hey guys, today we are going to look at multiplying monomials and polynomials. We're going to answer the question, how do I multiply monomials and polynomials? So to multiply a polynomial by a monomial, that means many terms by one term, you're just going to distribute the monomial to each term in the polynomial. And then for terms of the exponents, we will use the product rule, which is where we add exponents. So let's go ahead and review the product rule. This would be if I'm multiplying two monomials together. So remember, I'm still just going to multiply the coefficients because I am multiplying these things. So I'm just going to multiply the numbers and 3 times 12 is 36. Then to multiply x times x squared times x, I would add those exponents. So x squared times x would be x to the 2 plus 1, so x to the 3rd. And then y times y would be y to the 1 times y to the 1, or y to the 1 plus 1, which is y squared. So on number 1, when I distribute this 5m, if I'm multiplying with another m, I will have to add with that invisible 1 exponent. So let's go ahead and distribute 5m times m squared. That's going to be a 5 times that invisible 1 coefficient, so the coefficient is still 5. And then m to the 1 times m squared would be m to the 3rd, because 1 plus 2 is 3. Okay, now I'm going to distribute the 5m to negative 10m. So 5 times negative 10 is negative 50. And then m times m is m squared. And then 5m times negative 4. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. And then it will just stay m since there was no other m for that to combine with. So that is how you multiply. And then there's two things that you want to check for once you are done. You want to check, do I need to combine like terms? There are no like terms in this final answer since they all have different exponents. So we are good with that. And then the second thing that you want to check for is, is your answer written in standard form? Does it have alphabetical order variables with descending exponents? Yes, it does, so we're good. So after you get your final answer, make sure you double check are there any like terms? If there are, combine them and then make sure it is written in standard form. Okay, let's look at number two. I'm going to distribute a negative 4x squared to 2x minus 7 plus 3x squared. So negative 4x squared times 2x would be negative 8 and then x squared times x would be x to the third. And then negative 4x squared times negative 7 Negative 4 times negative 7 is positive 28, and then I will stick an x squared at the end of that. And then negative 4x squared times 3x squared is negative 12x to the fourth, since 2 plus 2 is 4. So I've multiplied. There's no like terms, so I'm good on that, but this is not written in standard form. So let's write it in standard form. I need to start with the highest exponent, which would be negative 12 x to the fourth, and then the next highest exponent is negative 8x to the third, and then plus 28x squared. Okay, number three, I'm going to distribute negative 3x to the fourth to 6x squared y squared minus 12xy plus 16. So let's start with this first one. It looks like we're multiplying a lot just break it down one part at a time. Negative 3 times 6 is negative 18. And then x to the 4th times x squared. 4 plus 2 is 6, so that's x to the 6th. And then I have a y squared. That doesn't have anything else to multiply with, so it'll stay y squared. Okay, now let's multiply the next term. So negative 3 times negative 12 is going to be positive 36. And then x to the fourth times x will be x to the fifth, and that has a y on it. 
And then my last thing, two terms that I need to multiply here are negative 3x to the fourth and 16. So negative 3 times 16 is negative 48. And then x to the fourth will just stay x to the fourth because it doesn't have anything else to multiply with. Okay, then we want to check is it in alphabetical order and are the exponents descending? So I just need to move this x up to the front because in alphabetical order, we just want the x by itself first and then the exponents will be descending after that. So negative 48x to the fourth minus 18x to the sixth y squared plus 36x to the fifth y is how we would write that in standard form. Okay, number four, I'm going to distribute a c squared d here. So let's start with this first group, c squared d times negative two c to the fourth, that new coefficient will be negative two, and then c squared times c to the fourth is c to the sixth, and then we have the d. Okay, now I'm going to distribute c squared d to negative c d. So it, the sign will stay negative, and then c squared times c is c to the third, and then d times d is d squared. And then c squared d times 3d squared is 3c squared, that doesn't have another c to multiply with, and then d times d to the third is d to the fourth. And it looks like this is already in standard form since all of the variables are a combination of c and d, and the c's have descending exponents. Okay, number five, I have two sets of distributing that I'm gonna need to do. So after I distribute to these two groups, then I'm gonna have to make sure that I don't have any like terms to combine. Let's start with the distributing. 5x times negative 7x would be negative 35x squared. And then 5x times 3 is 15x. Okay, now I'm going to distribute a negative 3 fourths x to 12 minus 8x. So negative 3 fourths x times 12. I'm going to use my calculator for this. So negative 3 fourths times 12 is negative 9x. And then negative 3 fourths x times negative 8x. Let's figure out what negative 3 fourths times 8 is, times negative 8. It's going to be a positive 6, and then x times x squared is x to the third. Okay, so we've distributed. Now we need to combine like terms. It looks like I just have some x's that will combine. 15x minus 9x. So negative 35x will remain the same, negative 35x squared. And then 15x minus 9x is 6x. And then I have the plus 6x cubed. Okay, last thing I need to do now that I've combined like terms is write this in standard form. So I'm just going to change these x's around to have descending exponents. So the 6x to the third will come first, and then minus 35x squared, and then plus 6x. Okay, number six is similar. I have some distributing to do, and then I'll probably have to combine like terms. So let's start with this first group. I'm gonna distribute a negative two X to those three terms inside the parentheses. So negative two X times X cubed is going to be negative two X to the fourth. And then negative two X times negative six X squared is going to be positive 12 
x to the third, and then negative 2x times 6 will be negative 12x. Okay, then this plus 4x to the third is going to remain plus 4x to the third. It's not in parentheses. We don't distribute anything to it. Now this next group, I'm going to change this to plus the opposite just so it's easier to combine like terms. And I'm going to do that by distributing a negative to those terms inside the parentheses. So it'll be plus and then negative times 5x is negative 5x squared and then negative times 10x is negative 10x. Okay, now I need to combine like terms. I'm gonna start with the highest exponent that I see, which is negative 2x to the fourth. And I don't see anything else that will combine with that, so that'll stay negative 2x to the fourth. And then I have 12x to the third, and that will combine with the positive 4x to the third. And 12x to the third plus 4x to the third is 16x to the third. Then if I have any x squared terms, those will come next. So negative 5x squared, and that doesn't have another x squared to combine with, so it'll remain negative 5x squared. And then lastly, I will have negative 12x, and that'll combine with the negative 10x. And negative 12x minus 10x is negative 22x. So there is our final answer in standard form after we distributed and combined like terms. Okay, number seven says write the area of the trapezoid as a simplified expression. So we need to write down the formula for the area of a trapezoid. It is area equals the average of the bases. So one half times base one plus base two times the height. So let's see if we can substitute in, or let's identify what we have first. So the first base is 4x squared plus 2x. So that's what I'll plug in for the first base. And then the second base is 8x squared minus 12. So that's what I'll plug in for the second base. And then the height is 3x. So let's just substitute into the formula. It's going to be area equals 1 half times the first base was 4x squared plus 2x plus the second base was 8x squared minus 12. And then we're going to multiply that by the height of 3x. Okay, what I'm going to do now is try to simplify this inside of the parentheses. And I can simplify that by combining the like terms, which are 4x squared and 8x. So I can rewrite this as area equals 1 half times 4x, or no, the 4x squared plus 8x squared will change into 12x squared, plus 2x minus 12 times 3x at the end. Okay, so... Now I'm just multiplying these three things together. It doesn't matter what order we do multiplication in. So I'm just gonna start by distributing the one half to what's inside the parentheses. So the area will be one half times 12 X squared is six X squared. And then one half times two X is X. And 1 half times negative 12 is negative 6. And then I still have this 3x that I need to multiply it by. So now I'm going to distribute the 3x. We can still distribute even if it's behind it because distributing is just multiplication. So 3x times 6x squared is 18x squared. 3x times x is 3x squared. Oh, I made a mistake. 3x times 6x squared is 18x to the third. And then 3x times x is 3x squared. And then 3x times negative 6 is negative 18x. 
So there is the area of the trapezoid. We just plugged into the formula. We combined the bases and then we multiplied by one half and we multiplied by the height. Okay, let's look at number eight. It says write the area of the shaded region as a simplified expression. So we need to find this shaded region. So what I'm gonna do is find the area of the entire rectangle and then just subtract that smaller rectangle from it. So I'm going to find the area of the outside and then I will subtract the area of the inside from it. So the first thing that I want to do is find these areas. So I'm going to find the area of the outside by doing 5x times 9x plus 4. Make sure you are multiplying all of 9x plus 4 by 5x. And now I'm going to distribute. So the area of the outside will be 5x times 9x is 45x squared and then 5x times 4 is 20x. So I have the area of the outside, it's 45x squared plus 20. Okay, now I need to find the area of the inside. So I'm gonna do 2x times 3x minus 5. Make sure you're doing 2x times all of 3x minus 5. So that will be 2x times 3x is 6x squared, and then 2x times 5 is negative 10x. All right, so now I am ready to find the area of the shaded region by subtracting the outside area, or subtracting the inside area from the outside area. So I'm just plugging into that original equation that I set up, the area of the outside minus the area of the inside. And I found the area of the outside, it was 45x squared plus 20x, and I'm going to subtract the inside area, which was 6x squared minus 10x from it. Okay, now I'm gonna change this to plus the opposite, so I'm gonna distribute the negative sign to the second group. So it'll be 45x squared plus 20x plus negative 6x squared plus 10x after I change those to the opposite. Okay, now I just need to combine like terms. 45x squared minus 6x squared is 39x squared. And then 20x plus 10x is 30x. So there is the area of the shaded region. We found the area of the outside and subtracted the area of the inside from it.